Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Faith Budgets. On this channel, I'll be posting videos about how we use the zero-based budget, sinking funds, cash stuffing, and savings challenges to pay off debt and save at the same time. If that's content that you're interested in, then please keep watching and definitely hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey to financial freedom. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll be doing the budget with me for the last paycheck in August, and it just happens to fall on the 29th, so August is almost over, and this was actually a magic month for us, and we did uh, we did receive five paychecks in this month, so with my husband and I both getting paid bi-weekly, and I get paid every other Thursday, he gets paid every other Friday, so this month uh, we got paid five checks instead of the usual four so this was our magic month and uh, we normally get paid four paychecks a week I mean four paychecks a month so uh, you can check out my August uh, monthly budget overview and I go over you know how we mapped out for the whole five weeks and kind of how I use that you know so-called extra pay extra paycheck we do have to still fund our variable expenses and uh then it also allows us to put a little bit more towards our sinking funds. And then I do, uh, the way I do my fifth paycheck for the month is I do have to use some of that for the next month's bill. So, um, like a, a Honda payment is due on the 5th of September, so I will be utilizing that money from this paycheck to pay that, that payment on that. So, uh, I just kind of spread it out like that and make sure that all the bills are paid and then anything extra will, of course, go to sinking funds. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Holly. My husband and I are on a journey to find the balance between saving money and paying off debt at the same time. And, uh, kind of gain financial freedom along the way <laughs> um, if we can at least uh, understand it a little better along the way and have a little bit more control over it and not just be all crazy with it not knowing where our money goes so we do use a zero based budget and uh, that lets us plan and map out our money and give every dollar an assignment uh, I am kind of inspired by Dave Ramsey and also the budget mom that were the, those are the two main, I guess, budget, what's the word, uh, I don't know, I like the way that they, their thought process with what, you know, the reasoning behind why they do certain things. Some things I agree with, some things I don't as far as with Dave Ramsey, and uh, so then I found the budget mom and kind of so mine is kind of a combination between the two and I'm I'm leaning more towards the cash stuffing and cash budgeting now. I'm getting I started out slow, you know, just one or two categories in the cash cash world and now I am up to several different ones. I don't even know how many I have now, but as far as sinking funds and then also like a spending categories, variable expenses, I use a lot of those now for cash. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I've just blabbered on and on. Um and thank you guys for watching and subscribing and following along with us on this journey. If you uh, have any questions or anything about the way I do anything, or feel free to ask. I'll try to help if I can. Um, that's how I learned a lot of things. I watched YouTubers and asked questions and just kind of learn, uh, learn from each different, you know, budget style, if you will. So this is a budget planner from uh, Missy Money. This is an A5 binder here, and then this is her budget planner, uh, and it is based, I do a zero-based budget here. Uh, let's see, we're on August, see I have the tabs here for the month, and then up here at the top is the pay, the weekly pay up there at the top. So we are on pay number five for August, so let's flip to number five, and then in September I'll move these over, so. Let's get right here to number five. And I think I'm going to take this out so that it'll be a little easier to do. So take it out real quick and then we'll put it back in when we're finished. So we just have this little paycheck breakdown and cash planning. Take that out right there. Move this over to the side. I hope everybody's having a good week. This August is almost over. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. So here's the paycheck breakdown and cash stuffing 
and we will just get started here. I did write down the categories and kind of get started on it, but I just didn't fill in the the amounts on everything. I started to. I was trying to get everything going so we can get this filled out and get our cash slip ready, get our cash planning ready, and go to the bank and get the, um, the cash out for our cash stuffing. So let's just get started on this. Okay. Here we go. Page one, this shows the net pay, which will be two thousand nine hundred twenty eight and ninety one cents. But I'll just I won't use the ninety one cents. I just kinda go by the dollars. The pay date is eight twenty nine and this will cover anything in this pay period from eight twenty nine to nine five. The next paycheck we get will be paycheck number one for September and that will be on nine six, I believe. Yes, nine six. Uh, so in the bank for this pay period is not going to be a whole lot, like I said, because this is the fifth paycheck for this month. It's kind of our extra one, if you will. So I always do a cushion for each paycheck of $25 because I'm not a month ahead yet. My plan is to get a month ahead on, on my fixed expenses that would be left in the bank so that I'll have that there as my buffer or cushion. <clears throat> but I don't have that yet. So I do still put a cushion in there, $25 per paycheck. It just kind of gives me a little bit of a buffer in there. I don't like to have my checking account get down very low, you know, never under a couple hundred dollars because I just, I don't want to, you know, risk the, risk maybe overdrawing or something come out auto draft that I didn't realize or something like that. So I just like to be a little bit cautious with that. And then the Honda side by side, that's our last debt that we have, that payment is due on nine five, but say we don't get paid till nine six. So this that falls into that category, into that pay week there, the pay period. So that bill will be paid with this check, four hundred dollars, and then a, a child support's eight thirty one. That's two seventeen. So let's add these up. Let's see what our total is here. Okay, should be six forty two there. Okay, six forty two. Now we have the wallet. This is uh, the wallet or your variable expenses. This would be anything that you spend money on, you know, during the week that, that you have to get into for your, maybe multiple times, you know, during the week. Your daily expenses or weekly expenses that you have. So we have groceries and this is anything that, basically that I get at Walmart. Um yeah, anything at Walmart. So that's two sixty there, and then gas is two hundred. This is for all the gas. Um, we live out in the country, so we do have to drive uh, quite a bit to get to town. I work from home, but my husband he drives to work every day. And if we go anywhere to eat, to shop, um, doctor, yeah, especially doctor's visits, they are really out of town. So. The doctor's visits that I have to go to down in Nashville, they are probably, it's probably like an hour and a half drive for us. So that's a little, you know, commute there. And then we have lawnmower. We have like over 10 acres of land. And then we have the tractor. It takes gas. So lots of things take gas. And we do have to, you know, fill those gas jugs up too. So that's included all in that. Okay, then eating out, we're doing 60 and giving, I did have to bump this up a little because we were doing a fundraiser for the school, so and a, and the sports team, so eighty five there. I bumped that up. That's you know normally I do forty five, so that's a little bit more. We're going to donate forty for that, an extra forty. And then we have shopping. This is just like my my envelope that I use for me personally, my little personal shopping. And then we have medications. This is for my mainly for my prescriptions that I have that I get at Walgreens then we have miscellaneous 40 kids activities 20 and then hubby he gets 150 <clears throat> and I just do that in all his in one so all his cat spending categories will be there in one and that's like for his lunch and everything so let's total this up let's see what we have here Okay, 880 should be the total there. Okay, 880 is the total for that one. 
Now we have our binders and our envelopes, which is uh, sinking funds. We have long term, short term, and then I have also have like a spending, I guess, category, a spending binder that I have. Um, the ones that I, I'm in probably multiple times throughout the pay week and throughout the month. And I just put those together so they're easier to get to. I find myself trying to, you know, find those in a couple of different binders. So I tried to group those together. So I've kind of grouped them together a little bit different now than, than I had previously. But I still have three binders. I have a spending binder, which is short-term, very short-term spending. And then I have a short-term binder and then I have a long term. So that kind of just, I broke it out into different categories like that to kind of help me, you know, be a little bit faster when, when I'm searching for the correct envelope <laughs> when we're trying to get some cash out. Okay, so with Sam's Club, I think we're going to do 70 this time. Self-care, I didn't do any in the last two weeks, so I have to bump this up 200 for that. That will include some of my supplements and skincare products, so... I'm doing that with cash now instead of making that like a fixed expense in my bill section. So I'm moving that over to the cash budgeting. And then we have pet care, which is 20. Gifts is going to be 20. Home maintenance, 60. Entertainment, fun, travel will be 50. We have some ball games coming up. University of Tennessee College football starts in three days you guys <laughs> can't wait memberships 45 car tags will be 15 and i'm finally putting a little bit in holidays i'm just just a 20 but that's any other holidays other than christmas christmas is not actually not getting anything this time it has its own envelope and then emergency will get five new car is going to get 800 we that had some overtime with this check so all that overtime is going straight to the new car for the down payment. That is coming pretty soon. And then we'll have some rearranging of our debt. So hopefully it won't be that much more. It's just going to be some rearranging. Hopefully it's, we eliminate one and then just have the new car as our only debt. So that's the plan. We will see. More to come on that. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think about uh, Chevy Traverse. Anybody have those out there? I've heard I've heard really good reviews on them. So, okay, and then property tax. We've got UT tickets thirty five. Property tax five. So let's total this up and see what we have for our sinking funds or binders here envelopes. Okay, I think it should be th yeah thirteen forty five for that. That's awesome. Wish every check could be like that. <laughs> then we have our savings challenges. Keep those separate here on this sheet. And right now I'm doing four. I did away with the mini Mondays because it was just kind of getting a little bit too much and I had lots of ones coming in. And I want to be able to put as much as I can uh, to the I do challenge. I do savings challenge. My son just proposed to his girlfriend. So this past summer just a few weeks ago really so they are planning a wedding and i spoke with him and they are thinking maybe next next year september or october so i have about a year to save for some you know some things i want to do on that i'll you can check out my other video i went over the i do savings challenge for missy money i'm going to be you know trying to contribute a set amount per month and then maybe even i mean per paycheck and then possibly a little more as well depending on if I have any left over from my variable expenses so that's why I wanted to just focus in on these uh, challenges specifically and then I may end up using the money that I do say from the 52 week challenge or maybe even the 12 month challenge because it will be about a year from now and I just started these uh, challenges in August so I might end up using this money for the wedding too just depending on how much I can I can save between now and then so we will see I want to be able to help out as much as I can they want to plan a nice honeymoon too so 52 week is six dollars because we're on week number six and I see it's my son that's getting married so the groom side I'm not sure you know all the traditions change and you can you can do it however you want to but 
I know that I want to help or I want to take care of the rehearsal dinner and then possibly help out with some with the honeymoon and then there was some other things I want to help out with too you know for sure for positive but then there's some other ones that I'd like to help out if I can or if they need additional help with you know so I don't know I just you know they're broke college kids we don't have a lot of money her parents don't have a lot of money so you know the extra money to help with them so we're all going to come together as a team and do it <laughs> hopefully it will it will work out and they'll probably get married in a church local church here we're in the south in tennessee and it'll be you know just a country church wedding so oh hang on I'm getting a phone call i'll be right back okay guys i'm back and i didn't even zoom you guys in <laughs> sorry I'll try to zoom you in where you can see a little better um Okay, where was I? Okay, I was going to, talking about the savings challenges. We're in week number six for the 52-week challenge, so that'll be $6 there. The 12-month, I'm going to put 10 on that. And the I Do Challenge, a definite $20 for right now. And then one month ahead, I'm going to do 25 Okay. Okay, so that's $61 there. Okay, so let's do our uh, cash planning here for our denominations for each category. We got the savings challenges. We'll just kind of work backwards and do that. So 52 week is just going to be a 5 and a 1. It'll be a 10 for the $10 12 month and then 20 for the I do challenge. And then, oops, just need one though. 120 and then a 120 and a 5. So let's add these up. One dollar. Ten dollars there. I guess I could speed through this. I will in a minute on these other ones. Whoops. Whoops. And then two twenties, which is forty. Make sure that total sixty one. Okay. So that's right on that. Sixty one. So let's do the binder, the sinking funds here. I may zoom you guys through this while I uh, figure out what I want for the cash here. And I'll be right back.
Okay guys, I think I've got it all totaled up. So we will go through here and see if we have a zero base budget. Um, first off, we have our net pay, which was 29.28 for the net pay. Then we have what's left in the bank was, or leaving in the bank is 6.42 there. And then the total cash withdrawn is the total, the grand total between all three of the the cash categories, which is the wallet, the sinking funds and bind, the sinking funds binder with my envelopes, savings challenge, savings, and then the savings challenges there. The total would be two thousand two hundred eighty-six there. So let's see if that equals a zero base budget. So we have our net pay twenty-nine twenty-eight. Minus the 642 that's in the bank and then minus our cash withdrawal Perfect zero zero base budget. I love it when it's like that sometimes it takes some figuring you know to get the cash planned out, but We have it all mapped out there. So now it is ready to go. I will fill out my cash teller slip I'll do that off camera. It'll it'll just match this right here. It'll it'll be exactly this. Get that filled out and I'll be ready to do the cash stuffing when we get back with our money from the bank. And that will be the next video that we do. If you guys stuck around for this, thank you for listening. And uh, if anybody's still listening now, let me know how how the audio is. How is my the sound? I kind of had some issues with it last couple videos and I tried a mic that you pin on and it it just kind of sounded muffled a little bit and maybe sounded a little bit it, I don't know it just didn't sound as good as the other with just a regular using my cell phone maybe whenever I had when I put earbuds in to listen or earbuds however you say it <laughs> my kids make fun of me uh, when I put my little earbuds in it, it didn't sound as good as just listening to it you know on speakerphone on speaker on my phone so I don't know just let me let me know what you guys think about the audio how is it is it any better more clear or is it muffled or <laughs> I know I'm a, a soft spoken so I don't talk very loud so I'm trying to talk you know more into the mic or into the phone and just kind of uh, speak a little clearer I guess <laughs> anyway I hope everybody has a great week and has a great weekend if I don't uh, have another video up before the weekend's over I should be able to get my cash stuffing up that's what I'm hoping I have a couple events going on this weekend I have um, my sister's daughter is turning 16 so we're doing a sweet 16 birthday party for her and then uh, my best friend's stepdaughter is getting married and they're doing the wedding shower uh, on Saturday and also Saturday is the first uh, football game for the college football for the University of Tennessee volunteers so we're not going to that home game but we are going to be watching it from home and I got to do some you know get kind of tailgate at home kind of and we're going to get get some food ready and and watch that game first and then I'll be going to the wedding shower after that so <laughs> so fun field weekend this weekend for sure so something every Friday night Friday afternoon, Saturday morning, Saturday, and then Saturday evening. So, and then of course church on Sunday, getting the groceries, getting the meal plan, get ready for the week. So it's going to be a busy, busy weekend. I hope everybody enjoys your weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.